In this video, I'm going to show you guys my backyard vegetable garden. Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I talk a lot about houseplants, but actually, I enjoy outdoor gardening as much as my houseplants. So I'm very, very excited today because I want to share with you my outdoor vegetable gardens. I grow some fruit, vegetables, herbs, some flowers this year, and I just really want to share with you guys today, and I probably will be able to harvest some with you. Most of my vining plants are here. This year I grow some beans. Probably five types of beans, they're all here. It's my first year growing beans, so I don't know when they're going to flower and when I can harvest them. I also grow some Asian vegetables. Some loofah right here, some Chinese or English cucumbers. I know this is not Chinese vegetables, but anyways, and some winter melon right here. So loofah, cucumber, and winter melon leaf are very, very similar. So loofah's leaf is more round shape, and this one is the winter melon leaf. It's very, very big. And for cucumber, this is the cucumber, but it got eaten. Because they are so similar, this is how I identify all three of them. This is the winter melon's flower. You can tell the flower is so large. And this one is the cucumber flower. It's smaller and it's darker. I got a lot of flowers here and i'm so 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 excited i already harvest one cucumber a couple of days ago i gave it to a friend but there are still tons of flowers see right here please focus and then here and here i haven't seen any fruit for my winter melon yet but I think this one is getting close. I am not so sure, but we'll see. By the way, this is the best garden hose that I've used. I've used many garden hose products before, but usually they are too heavy or um, they kinked a lot, they cracked after uh, one summer. So I ended up throwing them away. It is expendable, so it looks pretty short but after i turned the water on it expands to 50 feet and if you look at the nozzle part it's very heavy duty and very very good quality it has 11 settings this is my favorite feature perfect for house plants which needs high humidity look at the mist it's super super fine like oh my gosh it's not too strong it's just like the perfect fine mist it's just so nice give your house plants a little bit moisture in the air but not too much water this is the setting that i usually use to water the plants in my garden clean the driveway and now we're going to move on to my next flower or garden bed. I know there are a lot of weeds over here. I don't want to spray any chemicals because my garden is edible garden. This is my passion fruit vine. It is super, super tall. It's growing out of the trellis. I haven't seen any flowers, but look at the leaves. I really like the big leaf. So cute. And of course, I grow some green onions. 
This is green onions from Kitchen Scrap. This is one thing that I like about green onion. It's so easy, you don't need to buy seeds, you don't need to buy um, a plant in order to grow green onions. And this one flower about a month ago and now it's seeding. I'm so excited to plant those seeds and get more green onion. This is huge, a big green onion because I didn't spray any chemicals so you can see there are a lot of weeds and every week I have to come to the garden and we move all the grass, all the dandelion and so on and now this is my U-shape cinder block garden I finally expanded my garden this year it was a rectangular shape before and this year my husband and I finally extended it so that I have way more space to plant my vegetables. This is all tomato plants. I'm growing 20 tomato plants. This is the cherry tomatoes. It produces a lot of fruit and I'm so excited to harvest and put them into my salad. I love tomatoes a lot. Right next to my cherry tomato, I have this very interesting shaped tomato. It looks like a lot of cherry tomato together. And when you cut it, it does look like that. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, four tomatoes in total from this plant. Oh, one more right here, five. Tomato needs a lot of sunlight, so if you want to grow tomato, make sure you put it somewhere that has at least 8 hours of sunlight. This tomato is very tall, it's taller than me, so I probably will cut the top so that it can stop growing up and the nutrition can stay within the fruit. And this year, I'm also growing some onion and garlic. This is garlic and it's all flowering right now. Once you give it some time, this area it can produce like many many seeds and then you can replant the garlic seeds next year or this fall so that in next summer you can harvest them. For onion, this is something that I learned this year. Once they are ready, they basically pop up on the soil so that you know it's time for you to harvest. So this one is about time. This one is about time. This one, probably give it another few weeks. And this one is not ready yet. And I think this is so interesting. Like the nature tells you when you can eat me. <laughs> I also grow a lot of peppers. These are my peppers plant. I think I have 16 or 18 peppers and five species. I also store them from seeds. So this one is flowering. It's very, very cute. And this one is the jalapeno. It's about for me to harvest. So some of the peppers plant has like the disease here but some of them the leaves are just fine so before you purchase um, pepper seeds or pepper seedlings from the store make sure you check the label and see if it's pest resistant or disease resistant because you don't really want to deal with those those disease it looks ugly i also have some volunteer tomatoes plant this one is from last year. It just popped up in spring and I was like, okay, I guess I will let you stay here. So there are a lot of flowers and there are also some tiny tomatoes. They are very, very cute. When the tomato plants grow bigger, they are usually very top heavy. That's why I always like to put the tomato cage to support it. However, I know each tomato cage is like six bucks. It's not cheap. So I usually um, put the stake up like this one 
and you can tell I'm not doing a great job staking this tomato so after this video I need to go in and get some like gardening um, tape or something like that to really stake it I'm also growing some bitter melon it's another Asian vegetables it has some very beautiful yellow flowers the color is lighter than the winter melon and cucumber flowers and I really really like the wash off color it's so pretty this is my bitter melon I also plant one plant here because I don't have any seeds bitter melon is very good for your throat so if you're a teacher you have to talk a lot it is a perfect vegetable for you to eat I don't really like the bitterness of the bitter melon but this variety is the white bitter melon variety instead of the green variety it's less bitter and it tastes so good I expand this part of the garden bed about a few weeks ago so that's why there are not much here I have some citrus basil it smells like citrus it's very very interesting and I also plant some beets here are some beets I really like that red color can you can you tell let me zoom in the color the red part is so pretty and I also have some carrots here originally I plan to plant herbs in the cinder blocks but I don't have that much soil and compost so I decided not to do it this year and now we are going to move from this garden bed to my patio or my deck so this is my elevated garden bed I got this elevated garden bed from Walmart for $15 last year it was one of their clearance items best deal ever I have three strawberry plants one two three and they produce so much strawberries for me some of them are about time to harvest oh, this, this one I should have harvested earlier and I don't know why my strawberries are so sour this is the June bearing strawberry variety this is the finger carrot it feels so good to just touch it when the carrot is about to ready it also pops up like the onion so that I know it's about time I can harvest one This is the finger carrot variety. It looks so cute. It's perfect to put in salad and I'm sure it will taste very good. I also have some butter letters, butter leaf letters, and some Chinese um, broccoli. I let them seed because I want to save the seeds and grow them next year and then I have some kale I should have harvested them a while ago but I was too lazy I probably should do it today these are letters I already harvested them so many times and they're still going strong very very happy I think it's a good idea to grow your leafy greens on an elevated garden bed because it doesn't have that many worms I mean you still get some look at this it looks pretty pretty bad but it's still better than growing your leafy greens in the ground garden bed I grow some last year and I pretty much didn't get to eat anything <laughs> and this is my variegated lemon tree it's so pretty it has not flowered yet and I'm not sure if it will flower this year but look at the leaf I like everything variegated so this one is oh my gosh it's so stunning variegated lemon tree usually produce pink lemon so I'm very very excited for it and this one is my plumeria so tall right now 
and this one has not produced flowers for me yet so I don't know I don't know what you guys doing you just never produce flower never produce fruit so this pl plumeria is supposed to have white flower and I'm very excited to see the flowers one day and this is my dragon fruit cutting here is a new growth right here but I don't know what's wrong with it it has some disease look at all the dots on the stem and this one is my rosemary whenever I cook steak I will just cut a stem or part of it and cook with my beef right next to this elevated garden bed I also have some house plants here just because I'm out of space this is my aloe vera you can tell once I brought it out here it got some sunburn but the middle part the new leaf looks very perfect and this one I think is dirty because it's literally right under the uh, garden bed and then I have a golden patho this is the Hawaiian golden patho because it's underneath the garden bed it doesn't get sunburned that much but this is definitely a bad leaf look at this leaf it is so pretty so stunning and of course I have all my house plants here you can also see it from my deck Oh, I just love all my house plants. They are so pretty. Look at these. I also started composting this year. This is the compost bin that I got from Amazon. Oh my gosh, here is a big fly. Oh my gosh, go away. Is that smelly? So I always put my kitchen scrap here and then rotate it every two to three days all right that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy it i'm just very excited to watch my plants grow they make me so happy and hopeful every single day in the comment section below please let me know what fruit or vegetables are you growing or what are your favorite vegetables to grow because i am already start planning my gardening for 2021 all right, that's it for today. If you enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification button so that you will not miss out any of my future videos. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.